is the last night of service here at Dogfish Head Brewings and Eats in its current building until we move next door into the new building later this month. I think the biggest reasons why we were able to grow the way we are are still in this building, uh, meaning the, the people, those that came through the back doors of this building, our co-workers, and the hardcore evangelists, the customers, the locals of Delaware that helped spread the word. Uh, it, it's, it's cliche, but the best memory I have is just all the friends and family that I've made here. Dogfish is just one huge family, and uh, I'll never, ever forget the times that I've had here. So. My wife, uh, Joan, she was uh, born and raised in the area. Um, and so uh, actually our first date was here, uh, downstairs about 12 years ago. It's nostalgia, uh, it's um, feeling like you're a part of something really interesting to say that, hey, you know, I spent a lot of my formative years drinking beer in that place. Uh, it, it makes you feel like you're a part of something special. I think there's a, a big sense of pride. I think uh, a lot of that comes from uh, really the sense of family and community that starts at the top with Sam and Mariah and spills down through all the co-workers. So I think a lot of that pride is uh, everybody feels like they're a part of it. You know, we had our wedding rehearsal dinner in this room, our kids' birthday parties in this room. You know, there's so many people over the last 22 years that have worked with us in this building, so it's definitely bittersweet, but um, it would be, it'd be a lot worse if we were closing. <laughs> yeah. So many great bands, so many great beers, uh, but I would have to say, my fondest memory is probably Southern culture on the skids. I didn't get this old baby till so chopping on wood. I got eight slapping pills under my country hood. Let it ride. It was life changing. It was uh, just a special, special night and uh, great beer, great friends. I remember early, in the early days we had a folk series and like we would be, it was so stressful because we had to walk around and be, tell everyone not to talk through the bands and they were like this amazing folk artist but we were like, it was very stressful. We were like, maybe drinking strong beers and listening to folk music creates challenges for the audience. <laughs> but some favorites on the stage for me would be The Strokes, Filled to Spill, uh, Jonathan Richmond. When you see next door it seems insane that when you look at the scale of the new building versus this, to think that that new building has no more seats in it than this one, but that room has been purpose-built from the stage outward. It was architecturally and aesthetically designed to celebrate those three things, original beer, original food, original music, but emanating out of that world-class stage that we'll finally have. We've had world-class artists on this little stage, now we have a world-class stage for great artists, both local, regional, and national. Uh, to really be a platform for celebrating original music in coastal Delaware. So actually this place is pretty special because this is Ryan, he's my business partner and uh, head brewer and we actually met here standing just a couple places here so it's very nostalgic we'd love to say that we met our wives here but no we the two of us met here it's which the is the same thing we're like, yeah we're like work wives yeah yeah so <laughs> what is your favorite beer? oh wow i don't even ask that question well, favorite beer. well the one i'm for us two most proud of is because it was our wedding beer that's what you're gonna say right well <laughs> second favorite was the wedding beer i'd have to say my favorite uh, is probably Worldwide Stout. Uh, my favorite beer is uh, definitely Burton Baton, just no questions. The beer I always love to drink is actually the 75 minute IPA and uh, on cask at the pub. For me, Namaste has always been kind of my go-to when it comes to dogfish, but... No, the first was Namaste because we both had a hand in it yeah. and it lives on and grows. Right now it's our fastest, one of our fastest growing beers. It's a beer, a Belgian well, white beer. slightly better than our wedding beer. Yeah, because our wedding was in 96. Yes? <laughs> instead, instead, we're going to ring this bell, which is a toast bell. This bell is going to be rung for the folks who have walked into this building, which won't be here next year, but the folks who have walked into this building through either the back door as past co-workers or through the front door as, as beer-loving consumers, and work their ass off in this room as co-workers and have left this room from the front door as evangelists who helped grow this company. All right. From all the
Thank God for co-workers to all of our customers around the world and all dogfish co-workers from the past. We say thank you for building this room and thank you for building the beautiful building next door. Let's ring this bell.